So I want to talk about how the iPhone SE 2022 is better than the Galaxy S23. Let's go ahead and uh, talk about it. You might say this isn't a fair comparison, but I definitely truly believe there are some things better on the iPhone SE 2022 than the Galaxy S23, a super flagship. And let's go ahead and tell you some of the reasons why. So the first thing that you'll notice if you were to have these phones in your hands and in person, you're going to notice that the iPhone has a way better size and weight if you like a compact device. And in today, in 2023, um, everything's big and heavy and bulky. And it's nice to actually have a compact small device that you could just slip it into your pocket, hold it in your hand. You don't have to do hand gymnastics and kind of not really worry about um, how you're holding it, where you're going to put it. And yeah, it just feels really, really good to have a small compact device. So the iPhone SE is way cheaper than the Galaxy S23. For a lot of people, that makes the decision easy. And I don't think a lot of people know how cheap you could get the iPhone SE 2022. Apple uh, sells it retail for 430 bucks, which is super, super high for this device. Um, but that's still a better price than the, you know, $800 on the Galaxy S23. But I don't even want to compare it at that price. I don't think a lot of people know that if you can get this phone really, really cheap on prepaid, um, right now you can get it for $150. Bucks. Um, that's a really great price for this type of phone. And also uh, right now around the holidays and Black Friday and stuff, you can get this phone as cheap as $50 to $100 on prepaid. No contracts, no credit checks, all that type of stuff. So price is obviously way better and very important um you can't deny that fact that the iphone is a better price than the expensive galaxy s23 so a lot of people use their phones because they have great cameras they like to shoot videos and some people like to upload those videos to youtube and one thing that the iphone has going for it is the ecosystem and more um, specifically, is going to be iMovie. Android does not have a free, um, nice, easy to use, um, non cumbersome version of iMovie. So even though the S23 has a great camera, it takes great videos, but once you do that, you really can't edit the videos um, as a, as in a robust app like iMovie. You're gonna have to, gonna have to pay for something, pay for an app, and even then, um, it's kind of clunky. You got to pay for it. So yeah, hands down, having uh, iMovie free on the iPhone SE 2022 makes it way better than the Galaxy. Another thing with the ecosystem specifically is going to be AirDrop. It's still the best way to transfer files easily between devices. And the Galaxy S23 does not have a simple feature like AirDrop that could share between other people. And yes, I know there's nearby share on the Galaxy S23, but again, you can't use it between iOS and Android. And for the most part here in the US, mostly everybody has an iPhone and it's just an easier process. You don't have to really set anything up. And like I said, if why would you share files if you really can't even, um, you know, edit a movie in another device so it just doesn't make any real sense you could do uh airdrop between phones tablets uh, macs um when you're doing it with android there's pretty much android to android so it's kind of not not really working on uh, the galaxy s23 next advantage for the iphone is going to be updates you're going to get several years of updates you're going to get them uh, the uh, day one and you're going to you get um easy beta you get easy developer um updates and you get the same thing on iphone 15 and 15 pro so there's no real difference between which um phone you have uh if it's a cheaper one or a newer more expensive one can't say that about the galaxy s23 because google pixel still get the update first um, and you're going to be behind on the Galaxy S23. 
So there's three things that I think everybody should carry around them, and that's going to be their phone, their Bluetooth headphones, and their watch. And in this case, the iPhone has the advantage of having um, the Apple Watch working with it. The Galaxy S23, the Apple Watch does not work with it. It is the best watch, hands down. There's no real competition to it. Doesn't matter if it's an older Apple Watch or newer one. Um, it beats out any Android watch, um, Galaxy or, you know, Fitbit by Google. Doesn't matter. This just doesn't, it's, it's, they're just not on par with the Apple Watch. And, you know, it's just simply being um, working with iOS devices only. That gives it the hands down. If you want a good um, smartwatch, the iPhone SE has you covered. The last advantage that the iPhone has over the Galaxy S23 that I'll mention is that most people don't realize that you can pretty much get all the Google apps on the iPhone and most of those Google apps run better than they do on Android and the Galaxy S23. So if you were to use the iPhone SE, you could pretty much use it as a Google phone, it has Google Drive, Google Maps, YouTube, it has pretty much every single Google app that's found on android phones you can get them to work on the iphone se but you can't do that vice versa there's no apple maps for example on the galaxy s23 but you could have both of those google maps and um apple maps on your iphone se you could have google drive you could have all these type of google apps running on your iphone you can choose which ones you want to use but you can't have that option on the Galaxy S23. And I think that's very, very important. It's like the iPhone SE has the best of both worlds. So that's been my reasons um, picking the iPhone SE as a better device than the Galaxy S23. Um, it, it does have an older body and older look to it, but on a daily, day-to-day uh, -to -day use, you're gonna get a lot more out of the iPhone SE 2022 than the more expensive flagship Galaxy S23.